Okay, here we are again, White Dove East Store. We're gonna take um, we're gonna go over this Fender Stratocaster. We made a mistake and let listen to SKG case in it last time, and it doesn't have an SKG case. Uh, what it does come with is this Fender soft shell case. Um, so it does have a gig bag, also known as a gig bag, I guess. Um, so I didn't want to mistakenly list it. I had to, to stop the listen, so we're gonna redo it again. Um, we're gonna go over all the thing, uh, all over all the parts of the guitar. Um, okay, first let's see. I think I I made mention of this before. Um, these screws. Okay, first this is a brand new black perloid pit guard that's on it. I took the plastic off myself. Uh, the reason why I do that is because it's hard to take a video like this, and then um, with the if I keep the plastic pit guard thing on it, it looks really like dull. It's dull finish, so I didn't do that. What I can tell is this right here. Um, it looks like these screws are not the same as these. Um, I think they're still Fender screws. Let me. I think they're still Fender. Um, but these are. I believe these are the newer version. I think. Um, and from what I can tell, too, these right here um, have all been changed. I, I believe he did it for oxidation reasons. Um, if you have an older Strat. Uh, mem you you know that uh, sometimes he's oxidized so I believe he changed them out for that reason um, so okay so here we go the numbers of this is are MZ3130411 it is made in Mexico you can see it has a rosewood fingerboard by the dark color um, there's not a lot of well for one there's not a lot of scratches um, let's see you can see the uh, there's not a lot of uh, of dings or anything like that on this. It does look like this is uh, th it's a satin color, royal purple. It was only made at a, uh, for for a small amount of time at the beginning of the uh, 2000. Um, what we do have is it looks like um, to me that there's uh, it used to be the full uh, excuse me Fender bullet string sticker on there. He just left it on there. Evidently took it off and so it looks like it. But this can be easily changed. These are only a couple dollars online. You can get a brand new one, a black perloid one that'll match this. Um, some people like to do that. Some people don't. Um, as you can see, there's not any deep grooves or anything like that in the the body of the guitar. Um, I happen to like these satin color ones because they're reticent to being uh, scratched. Um, Let's see. There's a small spot here. I'm not gonna go. I'm I'm showing you the video so that you can really look at the body all the way around yourself. Um, if I miss something, just pay attention to the video. We ask all of our customers to do that. I try to do full disclosure. Um, that's why I do this. I figure if I take a, a full uh, YouTube video, paste it on the site, you're gonna be able to see everything about the guitar um, that you need to see before bidding. Um, do not bid in, unless you have seen this. If you haven't seen this, um, it is on you. Um, I think that's a foolish thing to do, personally, to bid on a guitar that you have not personally seen. To me, I, I, I know the, the age-old saying, pictures are worth a thousand words. Um, however, when you have a video of the Strat itself, I think it makes all the difference in the world because then you're going over the entire thing. Um, I think there's a small, if you can see that, small accidental dings right there, and maybe a small spot right there. It's like paint, it's not dented in, it's just uh, like white paint on it or something. Okay, so now that I'm, I'm holding this on its headstock so I can show you again, show you the entire body, so I'll probably have to end up tuning this again. Okay, so here goes, let me see, flip this over, so you can see the neck of the guitar um another thing I saw that I actually kind of like are these string guides I've not let me put this back on I've not seen these before but these look like they were um I mean I guess it would protect it from from the strings the string guides would definitely keep the the strings under control here so they wouldn't pop out of the nut but it's just kind of interesting. I think it looks really neat on it, but um, I don't I don't know where they came from. I, I just know that they're on there. Um, so let's see. So what we're gonna do? So you see this strap? We're gonna play through this Marshall amp. 
do this M13 stomp box and what I'm gonna do is run a loop and we're just gonna try some uh you know play around with it chords I'm gonna tune it real quick so please forgive me if my back is too towards you for for a couple of uh, seconds um, I don't mean to do it on purpose I'm just doing it because um, I need to tune it let's see so I'm gonna bring this down a little bit all right and I'm not trying to catch my face so much as I am the guitar being played so that you can see that it is the guitar being played. Um, let's see. Um, so all I have is a gig bag that goes with it. Um, I don't have any extra straps or anything like that. Um, usually I just say I purchase the used guitars from my customers on the store. And um, I sell them how I, I receive them. Um, include the, the YouTube video on it and everything. And then, let's see, I hope that's right okay so and just include the YouTube video on it so that you can definitely see what it is that you're getting okay so huh. I'm not really out of tune bad at all I'm going to <laughs> go ahead and Shut this window because if I don't, then all you're going to hear is a lawnmower. Okay. So we're going to run this loop. As you see, the five way switch does work. Pots aren't really scratchy. Okay. So let's try this. So we're just going to create a loop and now we're going to go at it so you can hear
I hope that worked for you. I appreciate it.